we were on a strict Hollywood regimen anyway, where we just like lay out a lot and tanning beds and like veganism, veganism, <laughs> Scientology, Kabbalah bracelets. Yeah, we're all lots of tacos. We're all Scientologists. <clears throat> no. We went to the beach with McConaughey. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he's teaching Chris how to surf. <laughs> Gringo yeah. Star. Yeah. Yeah. Interview. <laughs> D. Lorenzo, <coughs> Chris Kaufman. I am Nick Virgil. Pete Virgil. We used to all work together at a restaurant over on Ponds called Eats. We had uh, similar musical interests and um, hang out in the basement, do some, do some playing. Eventually uh, we hung out and recorded a bunch of uh, Nick's songs and a few of Pete's songs. And at the end of that <coughs> recording experience, we had so much fun that we, you know, we decided that, hey man, like why don't we play each other's songs, have a band, you know, and really do it. <laughs> I think because everyone in the band brings different songs that we it kind of we get a lot of different comparisons or whatever so usually I just describe it as everybody in the band writes songs and sings and we take turns being each other's backing band kind of and you know lots of harmonies and uh, piano bass drums guitars I think the best benefit of it is actually playing the shows, you know? Yeah, I think I that's agree. usually when I, like, you know, like, have the most fun. I mean, there's fun times on tour and there's ups and downs, but really it seems playing the show is always the most fun, you know, for me. That's, like, really, like, like, where, you, where I get the best actually. feeling, like... <laughs> and traveling like, around, it's, like, nice to just get to go to lots of different places and constantly seeing different scenery. We pretty much started touring like four years ago or something pretty constantly like all around the US and then we had the opportunity to go to the UK once Then we kind of expanded that to go. We've been there like seven or eight times or we're getting ready to go back for the eighth time to like Europe and uh, UK. We uh, hit Lollapalooza this summer, and uh, it was a really good experience. Manchester Orchestra, I think, was playing at the same time on one of the big stages, and uh, our stage was uh, right in the middle, real close to where you came in. And it was kind of raining a little bit, but where we played had this big overhang of trees, so it was really kind of perfect. And by the end of our set, there was probably at least 1,500 people you know, listening, and uh, so it was a real treat for us.
I'd just like to encourage everyone out there to go to our iTunes, search Gringo Star on iTunes, and check out our album. Hey, what's up, Atlanta? We're Gringo Star. And you're watching Bands on Demand. Comcast. <laughs>